Hi you guys, Jaleesa here and I'm back to show you how I got my super moisturized no crunch wash and go. If you want to see how I got this wash and go, just keep watching. So of course I'm going to be starting off with my freshly washed hair. Okay you guys, right now I'm taking my water bottle and spraying my hair with the water to get it super damp before applying my curling cream. And the curling cream that I'm going to be using is the Cantu Coconut Curling Cream. I usually use this product for my twist outs but I decided to try it out with my wash and goes and I really liked how it worked with the Eco Styling Gel this time. And I'm just smoothing that all over that section of hair making sure I get a good amount on the ends. And then I'm going to take my dimming brush and brush the powder through and get any knots or kinks that I may have out of my hair. So the next product that I'm going to be using is my whip shea butter. And what I really love about this product is that it really helps to seal in all of that moisture and it helps my curls to clump together more. I'm going to make sure that I put a good amount of that shea butter all over that section of hair and making sure I focus more on my ends. So the next product that I have is the Argan Oil Eco Styler Gel and what this product does is really provide that hold that my hair will need for that wash and go. I'm going to be smoothing that all throughout that section of my hair and taking a brush to brush through my hair and make sure that the product is evenly distributed. So right now is the fun part. What I'm doing now is what some people call the shingling method and I'm just separating my hair into small pieces and defining each curl. You do have the option to actually coil the hair but on this particular section I'm not coiling I'm just separating the hair and letting the curls form on their own. So as you can see this is what it is looking like. So right now I'm just going to show you those steps again. I'm going to be spraying my hair with the water to get it super damp. Apply my curling cream and brushing the product through and make sure that I don't have any knots or kinks in my hair. And then after that I'm taking my whip shea butter and applying that all over that section of hair. And I'm going to brush that through and then I'm going to apply my Eco Styler Gel and go ahead with defining my curls. almost done and I'm going to take my blow dryer with the diffuser attachment and put my blow dryer on the highest heat setting and the highest speed to get my hair dry faster because who has all day to be waiting on their hair to dry <laughs> I mean you can air dry if you want if you're not doing anything but I was going to go out later that day so I wanted to make sure that my hair was dry Listen, I love my curls, but look at that. The shrinkage is real. So 
So once my hair is completely dry, I like to go back in with my blow dryer and use the tension method to stretch my hair. And I never get back all of my length, but the bit that I do get back, I do like it because it's hot right now and I don't mind my hair being up off of my neck. And I just do this every morning to stretch my hair out and get that movement back. So if you guys have followed all of those steps, you will receive a super moisturized, no crunch wash and go. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful. If you did, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button for new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.